Have you ever wanted to make pizza, 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 either for yourself or for your family? No flour? I got you. my channel if this is your first time thank you so much for being here and welcome if this is not your first time welcome back I've lost and kept off 80 pounds my passion is food fitness and freedom I've had traumatic moments in my life to find my every move and it wasn't until later in life that I found freedom through a variety of different ways that I'm passionate about on this channel that's exactly what you and I will explore food, fitness, and freedom. So thank you for being here. And if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe, if that sounds like a good vibe to you, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to connect with you here. Thank you so much. And let's get started. Hi guys, we're gonna make some pizza. Yes, I said the word pizza. Typically, we think of pizza and it's NMF, not my food. But what we're doing, making it with red lentils and we have a trigger warning here for cheese. See the description below for your substitutions and let's get started. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you make this, be sure to tag me either on YouTube or Instagram. I'd love to see your creation. Let's go. I love that this is just lentils, water and seasoning. I also love that you can make this ahead of time and store it in the refrigerator. You can count on this pizza crust being sturdy and not flimsy. It won't fall apart. I love that you can also make this completely veg or meat. If you're a Brightline eater, do your math. My favorite is that I can make one only for me or one for my entire family. Let's get started to make our pizza. Now, you can make this pizza for just you or you can make it for your family. I'm going to take six ounces of my red lentil batter base. I will slowly add water and stir it up. Once it's well mixed, I go ahead and use my new amazing tool that I love so much to pour the batter into to get the pizza crust made. Getting every single last drop, you're going to go ahead and close it down and you can keep checking it to make sure that it's cooking evenly on both sides and it has the firmness that you would like. If you don't have a tool such as this, you can use a stovetop and pan. Once the pizza crust is done, I will let it cool and then assemble my ingredients. For today's pizza, I'm using roasted peppers and onions as well as other goodies. Taking my two ounces of free marinara sauce, no sugar, I will go ahead and spread it on the pizza crust. Then I'll get my roasted peppers and onions as well as fresh red onions and a couple of ounces of free capers, meaning it's a free food for me, and some nutritional yeast as well as chopped garlic and I will finish it off with my fresh Parmesan cheese for my fat serving one ounce. Then I will take fresh, fresh herbs from my garden and place that down. Notice how I used my hands to pack down the pizza so it stays solid. Putting it in the oven at 450, you're gonna just leave it in there for maybe five to eight minutes, maybe eight to 10, it depends on your oven and how you like it. And then I will take it out and it is ready. Now. I made this pizza and ate it the next day. So this is also a good tip if you wanted to make your personal pizzas in advance or your crust in advance and then assemble it later. I can eat it whole or chop it up into triangular slices and we are good to go. Using our batter, we'll make wraps, tacos, tostadas, and all kinds of flatbread and sandwich bread, as well as pizza, and my everything but the plate waffles. So click the links on the screen to get started with a few recipes. <laughs> 